Hi, welcome to Wargaming Recon. I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt. You notice we have our new merch. I'm wearing one of our new t-shirts here. And right here, I have a box that we're gonna unbox. It's been a while since we've done one of these, and I'm very, very excited because this is from, if I look, oh, look. It's from Breach Storm Entertainment. Yes, I already trimmed open the lid, but I did not go inside, so let's go inside together. Let's see what we have. Oh, okay. So we have a few things here, as you can see. So first, we got this nice little ladder here. We are a media partner with BreachStorm. And it says, thank you for joining the BreachStorm Media Partnership Program. Tell us that the game is a 28 millimeter sci-fi minis game for teams of six to eight resin minis with asymmetric objectives. I think that's really cool. Incorporating terrain and mission setup into the game strategy. Included in this box is a welcome pack of complimentary sets of Breach Storm core sets, including all the miniatures you need to play with 100 requisition teams. That's a standard game size, as well as a token set containing tokens for the game. All rules and templates are free for download at breachstorm.com slash rules. It says, we hope you enjoy these miniatures. Decide to spread the word of the Breach Storm. Stay tuned as more minis become available. They have a Kickstarter that comes out on April 30th, 2019 called Breachstorm Reloaded. You might know if you watch any of our other video content that we put up online that at Havoc 2019 in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, we got to talk with Trevor Atridge a little bit about Breachstorm, so he gave us an overview of the game. And he is slash was slash will be, depending on when you're watching this, coming on an episode of Wargaming Recon to talk about the game, to talk about the Kickstarter, his design process, and all these kind of things, who he is, where he comes from, and what Bootstorm is all about. So let's dive in first. So first we get some tokens. You can see there's some box art right there. Nice looking blisters. They have skew. Let's open them up, okay? And these, oh, these are cute tokens. They look like they're made out of MDF. Let's open them up. You get a bag here. It's hard for you to see, so we'll get closer looks for all of these that you'll be able to see on camera. Now, if I can figure out how to open the bag. <laughs> okay, here we go. So there's all sorts of tokens. Oh, and I'm wrong. I thought they were MDF, but actually they feel like they must be foam with a nice hard laminate uh, exterior with all sorts of different token uh, designs and everything on them. And I've played in the demo and haven't played from the demo. I know that there's things like command points and there's all sorts of different stuff. I believe, judging by the artwork on these, that these might be older, and I could be wrong, but uh, original, not older, but original token sets and starter sets because I know they kind of rebranded everything and done stuff. So right here we have a core set for Homeworld Confederacy, and these are kind of like your standard Human Empire, Imperium, whatever, depending on your sci-fi universe uh, for stuff here. It includes seven minis. It says it comes with Captain Johan Lucas, one MTAC fire team leader, three MTAC riflemen, and two MTAC support gunners. We got some nice artwork on the back as well. The box is a nice and sturdy. Let's open them up for you guys. So this kind of setup here reminds me of the old Starship Troopers miniatures game by Mongoose Publishing for how they would put stuff. They would have a nice box like this. Uh, you actually have a little bit of card here that talks about how to expand your roster by expansion packs, things of that sort. We'll put that to the side. But then Mongoose also would have a classic thing like this. So let's just open this up. Round bases with a lip. Anyone who's played War Machines or Hordes or War Hordes, I should say, anything by Private Day Press is familiar with these kind of bases. And you can tell right here we get a body, we got arms with weapons, a head, not a whole lot of pieces. These look like they're done in pink resin. So you get all sorts of different options for the different teams. Let's put that to the side. Let's get rid of this box, okay. And then right here we have the Zhren Thrar Zen 
Thor, <laughs> I'm going to get the names wrong, Pride, it's another corset, it comes with Pack Mistress, Ferrak, Gara, Pride Pack Leader, three Pride Pack Warriors, and two Carapesh Dream Speakers. Now I know from playing the demo, these are a really good melee close combat kind of team, whereas the humanoids are more of a ranged weapon sort of thing. So let's open these up and see what we got. Again, we'll do close-ups of everything at the end. Get the same card, so whatever you get. This one, again, you have the bases with the lips, and you get blue figures. So yes, you need to paint, but if you're familiar with me on the show, you know what I'm going to say. I don't think you need to paint these starter ones. Definitely not to start going, but... So here's one. Nice looking sculpts. Comes with a lot of extra pieces on them. Uh, for what you need. So you have the main body, you have a leg, and you have the weapons for both hands and arms. I'm not seeing tons of mold lines, to be honest. I'm quite impressed. It looks like they, these might be gravity molds. I think they've done pretty well. So now that we took a quick peek at that, why don't we take a closer look at these sets so you can see what we have in there. Okay, so as you see here, we get some nice close-ups to show you Breach Storm, the token set. So that's the artwork of the tokens. You can see this is what the container looks like, and let's get this out so you can actually look at the nice cardstock. Good quality, UPAC, gives you a little description, and let's face where the tokens go. You get two bags of tokens. And we've opened one right here. So we got, let's take these all out. We got all sorts of different tokens here. We got some green ones right there. We got some red ones like so. We got this little weird like starburst kind of thing. We got two types of purple. Look at these. And then we also have these. Which they're quite interesting. So you can see there's an array of tokens. And then there's also these blue ones. And a different type of red one as well. So all told, we have a variety of tokens. It looks like we should have five different types of tokens. Uh, we got what, three, four, five, six, seven. So actually, no, that makes sense. Seven tokens. Because if you look at the card, we got one, two, three, four, five, and then each of the others. And I believe these are the exact numbers of tokens that we have. Of each, so you see we got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And what does it say? Actually, it says we get 56 tokens between the two, so that can't be right, but you get the idea. So that's the tokens. Let's come over here. And we got the Breach Storm Homeworld Confederacy. I like the artwork. Back of the box. That's pretty cool. Now let's look at some of the figures. They come in these little bags. And here's a sculpt. So you can 
Sí. There's a few others. Let's open these up so you can see what they're like. Arms and weapons. The nice detail. Not a whole lot of mold lines. Let's see if we can find like the really cool guys in here. I mean, they're all cool, but you know what I mean. Like a leader or something. This one looks dynamic. So, if you look right here, So that's the human forces. And then here we got doo -doo -doo -doo. you can see the kind of like cats, lions, tigers, things of that sort. Uh, the card that comes with both of them. Everything's nicely done, good quality, pricing is very reasonable. The bases, like I told you, and then here, yeah, this got actually woman probably looks really awesome. I played as these tigers and lions and bears on my in the demo, so these are really neat. So you see, we'll just shove it in space for a moment. This right here would go. This is just some old stuff. Great sculpting, great opportunities for painting. A nice weapon here. And then the arm. So I presume the whole thing goes together as such, where you have, this is, probably goes like here. Is that the right arm, right? Yeah. And this probably just gets socketed in there, like that. And then it just has another arm. Use a little plastic cement. You see the joints are good. Easy for assembly. Little plastic cement. If you can tell right here, we got a nice easy ball joint to go in. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this unboxing video. Thank you very much to Breachstorm for sending us this. Be sure to check out all their products on their website at breachstorm.com. Be sure to look for that Kickstarter coming or haven't been so that you can get cool new extra stuff. As you can see here, Breachstorm Reloaded, April 20, on 30th, 2019, coming at you then. And don't forget to check out all of our other videos. We are on all the things, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. We're everywhere as Wargaming Recon. You can get all our video content there. And we're also on all the things for our audio podcast, which comes out every other week, where we discuss historical and New England gaming, all sorts of tabletop games and sci-fi, historical, all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoyed this, we have plenty of other unboxings. Check out our unboxing li lists. We'll have links below. 
to all that kind of stuff, or above, depending on where you're at. You go up here, or over here, or over here, or wherever. They're all over the place, so you can find all of that there. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of the community. And remember, no matter how busy you are, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how much time you want to play with some cool, neat, and well-sculpted fantasy and sci-fi minis for a far, far future, you know that you gotta, you need to, you have to keep on gaming.